Hey everyone, welcome back after, uh, well I think it's been about a week and a half or so since we made our last video, but this is the reason why. Ta -da! <laughs> Ta -da! Uh, we we're building a 100 square foot seedling greenhouse because we do not have enough room in the basement anymore for the, for more seedlings. So, yeah. so uh, yeah, we built it. Oh, I think we are into this thing for a about 800 bucks right now so it's not, not too bad. shabby no 100 square foot greenhouse for 800 bucks shout out to uh, the secret spot yes yes a good old secret, secret lumber spot super secret yeah um yeah and we'll get into how we did it and maybe some tips and stuff uh but off the bat we are not professional engineers <laughs> so Take all advice with a grain of salt. We're <laughs> no, no professionals here. We're just farmers trying to make a greenhouse for our seedlings, all right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so this video is a two-parter. Uh, part one, we kind of just explain the thought process and how we built this. And then part two of the video, or the second video, is a time lapse of us building it. So watch whatever one you want, or watch them both, which is even better. And uh, yeah, enjoy, thanks. So there's a few things that we had to buy, which, uh, w w so we did buy a, probably about 30 uh, two by fours and about eight two by sixes for the roof. Um, and we went with two by sixes because in the winter, we're taking out the glass panels that make up the roof. Uh, Cause there's, there's no way that those panels will be able to stand up to about no. you know the three to four feet of snow that we get here right It'd be way too much way too much way weight. too much weight if you're gonna try and like keep the greenhouse together all winter uh at least two by eights i would almost suggest two by tens for your roof um and then you also got to make sure that those two by tens aren't getting messed up by the weather and things like that make sure they're protected um but for us we're gonna get three to four feet of snow for sure yeah and the glass panes wouldn't be able to handle that so we went two by sixes knowing that we're going to be taking out the window panes on the ceiling um out during the fall when we do our winterizing out here so a little extra work but oh well yeah i'm not I'm, well, it, it got, takes like literally 30 seconds to pop all those windows out yeah which is also a feature of the greenhouse <clears throat> like those all the windows in the ceiling we can just push up move out of the way or pop out if we need to vent hot air whatever like it's yeah, a get that nice great feature flow. yeah because it's that. gonna get hot in there in the summertime and oh yeah we're gonna need to be able to get that air moving around yeah well it's like currently who it's a sunny day but it's probably about four degrees outside it's like 23 degrees in the greenhouse <laughs> right now degrees, with yeah. the sun like it just by itself so yeah. it makes a huge difference and in summer we're definitely gonna have to you know be venting out that hot air oh yeah yeah but yeah lumber was basically the majority of our expenses because yeah because we were able to go to there's a, a mill nearby uh we won't tell you which one um <laughs> but there's a mill that allows us to grab scraps from their cutoff pile and because of that, we were able to side most of the building and we were able to use the, the cops also so to make uh, wood shingles for the little bit of roof that we have. And uh, that saved us a fortune because- Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, Huge. well, <laughs> plywood is like a hundred bucks a sheet right now, which is insane. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure if somebody watches this in 20 years, they'll be like, oh, a hundred bucks? <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> but right now, that is crazy That's a, expensive. That's for us yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, we are broke farmers, so, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the main things you need, though, to build, build a greenhouse like this is you need free windows, don't go buying a bunch of windows. Look for free, free ones. Windows. People who are replacing them. Facebook Marketplace is a great place. We were lucky. I got uh, my brother and sister-in-law. They were they switched out all their windows in their house, so we got all those. Thanks, Jim and Sarah. Thank you, Jim and Sarah. And then our good friend Heather. She also replaced a ton of windows, and so we were able to grab a bunch of those. But 
if you don't have friends and family replacing windows, go check Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. I've seen a ton of free windows on Facebook Marketplace. And you only need, you know, old one-pane windows. You're not trying to make this thing, like, <laughs> <laughs> like bulletproof, right? Like, this is just a low-cost greenhouse yeah. So, yeah. T- to extend your seasons, right? You're not going to be running this thing in the winter. You're, you're just trying to extend your spring and fall. Um, but yeah, windows are super important. Get those free, find them wherever you can, get scrappy. Uh, finding lumber for siding and like roofing type things, get scrappy on that stuff. If, like plywood's gonna stay at a hundred bucks a sheet. Like you don't need to be wasting money that way. Go, no. go find a local mill somewhere or like somebody who has a backyard mill or something and grab those off cuts. Uh, they, you know, they're usually like a quarter of an inch thick to a half inch thick. Grab them, you know, use them for siding, save you a fortune. And if you do decide to ignore those helpful hints and you want to go and buy lumber and whatnot, buy it in winter time. Yes. Because it'll be like 75% less than the cost that it is right now. Yeah, let's go 50%. Okay, 50%. Uh, 50%, of, uh, 50% less. Yeah. But still, that's a huge amount yeah. of savings. And yeah. you kind of buy wish that your we lumber in winter. That, but here yeah. we are. We yeah. made it work. Yeah, buy your lumber in winter. It is a huge <laughs> savings. <laughs> yep. Um, what else? Oh, uh, Polly, you need. So you want to limit the amount of airflow that goes through the building. Because that's where your heat gets stolen. Yeah. Is by airflow. Like, like yes, you will want to be able to put like have air thro- flow through your greenhouse, but you want to be able to to decide when that happens, right? So poly is like like sheets of poly is a huge thing. You, you need that plastic wrapping to mm-hmm. to do it, and then you can decide when you want airflow through and stuff, right? And you're gonna hold that heat in from the day through the evening and keep your plants warm. I guess, oh, I, t- and with with Polly, you need tuck tape. Yes. The most adoring tape in the world. I hate it so much. It's the worst to it's work with. It's awful to work with, but you need it. Tuck tape is the way to go with Polly. It's just. I'd like to know if anybody actually likes to use tuck tape. Oh, it's awful. So in the comments, please let us know. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, also in the comments, um, I'm wondering if people want to know like the financials of the farm because so every couple of weeks I do my books I make sure I didn't check things and see where we're at and <laughs> how <laughs> how much money we've spent so far and uh, uh, let, yeah. let us know in the comments if people want to know the financials of the farms because I've got no problem sharing that stuff with people so that so that you know like how much we're spending, how much <laughs> we think we'll make, what's going on. Anyways, let us know in the comments if that's a good idea or not. Otherwise, I'll just shut up and be quiet. <laughs> 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 but I like the numbers. <laughs> nobody got hurt? Well, except yeah, for me, I got Nobody dinged. got hurt, but Josh had a... 2 by 4 to the to the dome. Yeah, his first 2 by 4 to the dome. Yeah, uh, okay. I mean, anybody with a construction career knows they're probably going to get a couple of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, look up. Looking. When somebody's working <laughs> above you, you need to be paying attention to it. There, like, that's just a fact, all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm off in La La Land all the time. Yeah. Um. um yeah, I learned a lot. Mm. You know. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it'll. You know, it'll buy us the time to get the seedlings going and and ready for when we get the bigger um, hot house. Oh, um, another thing to check before you start building is check your local regional district or county or whatever and check what their building codes are so this is a hundred square foot greenhouse because at a hundred square feet in the csrd uh or or under does not need a permit if you go over that you need a permit to build it so check with your local you know district or whatever and and check what what the rules are that before you build yours so. Don't want any headaches. Yeah, nobody wants to deal with a county or regional district. They're just awful. No. Pains in the butt. Yeah. But yeah. No. I'm proud. I'm stoked. I'm super we stoked. worked very hard all week. Yeah. Solid week and a half. Yeah. yeah you got a ton done. Yeah. Ton done. All right. Peace. <laughs>